Welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, a D-I-N-O, I am Audrey H-T. What up, Jonas? Oh, dude, I'm here to tell you all the things that you didn't know. Uh, what? I don't know much of anything. I'm, so about to, is... I'm about to drop some knowledge on you. Holy shit, Jonas, I'm not ready for it. Hold on, let me get my back brace. I will be... <laughs> <laughs> I will be your Socrates. Before you, before you drop it. Yeah, dude. I don't want you to have to catch it off kilter and strain your lower lumbar. No, it's not. It, wait, what? It's that heavy? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm okay. dropping some fucking rocks on it's, you, dude. Should I... Wait, is it hot? Should I get my, my fire safe gloves? Mm, I think it'll burn through any gloves you got, friend. Whoa, whoa Jonas is dropping that hot heavy knowledge, I'm man. Dropping, I'm dropping rocks the size of magma balls. <sighs> hot, but, what what is the size of a magma ball? Leave it to your imagination, dude. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Town <laughs> Podcast. Whether you're watching us on our YouTube channel, the Crazy Town Media, or uh, hearing our voices sweetly rub your eardrums, uh, Spotify or iTunes. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And this dude does Twitch thing. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O and my GHT underscore Crazy Town mm. at Twitch.tv. Yeah, boy. He's famous. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I do. I love you. All right. Let's keep. Let's, what, what do we got, Jonas? What oh, we dude, got I today? Just, I get, was just putting a bunch of build up for nothing. Well, I don't have any stories today. Well, I nothing. I mean, that's perfectly fine. You think I can't <laughs> fucking freestyle my way through this, Jonas? I mean, we are shit talkers. Talking shit is our yeah, forte. I absolutely. Jonas. I do have stories. I'm a liar. No, just see, double the lies, Jonas. I don't know what to believe. Actually, anymore. triple the lies because I don't even know what magma is. I do. I'm a liar. That's four. Oh my god! I'm That's lying. a lot of lies. I'm essentially a bag of lies. I'm pretty much just untruth incarnate. Yeah, truth not facts here, Chris. <laughs> not even truth. <laughs> oh. Just not facts either. Fuck you. <laughs> Everything's a lie now. I saw uh, ramen falling from the green sky today from the purple clouds. That was the closest thing to the truth you've ever seen. <laughs> Fair. It's 2020. That could have happened. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no shit, right, dude? I saw a cat eat a giraffe. <laughs> Uh, anyways, in Arkansas, Florida. Uh huh. See, <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> see, right here, right on brand. There, <laughs> there was a uh, there was a grave of a man. <laughs> just one. <laughs> just one. In the whole state. That's it. Just one. They all were in it. Everyone. I like improv and, news. Uh, by his the way. family kept finding dead animal carcasses on his grave. <laughs> Sure. What kind of animals? Unicorns? Le Leviathans? <laughs> Krakens? <laughs> Cthulhu? M Man Manitars? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mano Wars? Sphinx? Yeah, dude. Giant... Jonas, all right. We're... <laughs> We're going to lose it. Let's go. Hey, what what hey, kind of car? Hey, you're the one taking off the rails, dude. I, I can't was saying... help it, dude. It's improv news now. Right. So... Uh, they, they decided to, um... What kind of carcasses were they? It didn't say. Just, like, animal carcasses? Yeah, just dead animals. All right, I'm sure there was maggots. Ew. We talked about those last episode or a couple episodes or a yeah. Madden episode or something. Yeah. Um, Call there was back. 16 dead animals between May and July. And the family was like, okay, you know, one dead animal, maybe, maybe something happened. Mm -hmm. 16 dead animals we got a trend folks that's a lot yeah dude it's trending upwards more animals more of the time i mean it depends on like what kind of animals to be honest because if it's like deer then yeah thumbs up but if it's like you know a rabbit you find a 16 dead rabbits in the same spot there ain't, yeah. there ain't something happening well, I don't know. I figure like if, if if it's a dog, dogs like to eat their food in the same spot. You know, animals like repetition too. They like they like a schedule. I'm just gonna put a, a dead squirrel outside your bedroom door, if, and you'll be like, "Wow, sixteen dead squirrels!" Notice <laughs> if you started eating dead squirrels. Like if I saw you with Tupperware full of dead squirrels in there. Okay. And then like over by my door, I found like a plate and a knife and a fork. I'd be like, I guess Jonas likes to eat his dead squirrels outside my room. Yeah. You know, I like to be close to you when we eat, regardless whether you know it or not. Doesn't surprise me. So they uh, they watched some security footage from the uh, from the cemetery, and they saw a woman, but mm. but they noticed that it was a wig and some glasses. Okay. And a coat. 
And uh, I thought it was a woman. Turns out it was a seventy-eight-year-old man. Uh huh. It was his neighbor. His neighbor. From when he was alive. Howdy, neighbor. Wait, he, what? It was his arch nemesis. He hated him so much that when he died, he dressed up like a woman and went and put dead animals on his grave. What? Why? Wait. Okay. Keep going. It's Arkansas, Florida, dude. <laughs> See, I don't know which one it is, though, because those are two different. It's, could be it's Arkansas, one. but we but always it's say base. it's Arkansas. Oh, okay. Arkansas, Arkansas Florida. Florida. Yeah, gotcha. Arkansas, Florida. All right. Um, they said that they have always had beef, and it started over the dispute of a, la- a line on their land. Oh, my God. He was one of those. And types. they went to court over it, and he lost. And, like, so this dude dies, and he's dropping dead animals <laughs> Fucking grave, dude. Like that motherfucker watched too many cartoons at his age. You know, I, that's kind of crazy. I I don't know if I have enough feeling in my heart for <laughs> anybody, anything. for anybody enough to do that to them. Like <laughs> after you're dead, I still hate you. That's that's you're holding on like, to some hate. I have been wronged by some people in my life, and I don't hate. I can't. I can't really say I hate anyone. <laughs> like. I dislike some people. Some people I don't want to be around. But it would take a lot for me to like be like, I hate you. And then it would take way even more than that for me to want to desecrate your grave with a dead animal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to have to say is that that guy definitely has some mental problems. Yeah. To hate from beyond the grave. I mean, not hate from beyond, but hate, hate somebody so much. beyond the grave. Yeah, that's, dude. That's a lot. Yeah. Over w- a property line. Yeah, they, well, I'm sure there was other beef, you know, maybe maybe he fucked his wife or something. Wow. We'll see now, then again now, look, you fucked my wife. <laughs> I'm putting dead animals in your fucking <laughs> casket, all right? Inside, at the funeral, you walk in. Right? I, I will exhume your ass. <laughs> Just to rub dead zebra on you. <laughs> but like, okay, so you made a good point there. You said, I don't know how, if I have enough feeling in my heart. And sometimes I'm like, like, it, I'm... A lot, I let a, a lot of stuff doesn't bother me. And then I wonder, is it like, am I so emotionally dead inside that I just don't feel and that's what the problem is? No. Or am I level-headed and just don't care about shit that doesn't matter? Uh, I don't know. You were just yelling at your computer before we started. The There's a difference podcast. between annoyance <laughs> that comes and goes quickly and having an actual legitimate like internal struggle. Uh, and, yes, and, and you know what I mean. Like when I'm yelling at my computer, I'm like, "Fuck this shit! You should be faster. I hate you." But I'm not like <laughs> mad. I'm like, I'm not upset. I'm just like, just like uh, fucking hurry up, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's funny the way you you manifest like just like it's like all your anger and hate are just like a concentrated ball of energy at your computer, like right then and there. And it lasts. It, uh, trust me, I get it. It lasts maybe. 30 seconds right <laughs> and that's how i am dude like if something lasts longer than 30 seconds for me it's a real problem <laughs> like and that's how i know it's like if i get upset if i get mad i'm just like rah, 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 and then i'm like hey whatever dude fuck it like is that because right. i'm dead inside or yeah, am i like I'm... able to like process my emotions that fast that i'm just like over it you're a guy i think is that what dudes do? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what dudes do. I'm pretty sure that's what separates us from the uh, from the animals and women. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I mean, you know, women. But like, yeah, but like, if so, if but that's how I know if something's really a problem. Like, if it, if I have that initial burst of like this is bothering me, whether whatever emotion, anger, sadness, happiness, whatever, and then like an hour later, like it's still in my mind. I'm like, man, that that must have bothered me. <laughs> like, mm. what am I really feeling about that? Like, you know, we're like. Oh, I actually felt true happiness for five seconds. <laughs> I wish I could have that back. True <laughs> happiness. Jonas, we've never experienced love. I don't know what... That, I don't even know what true happiness is. I don't know what true love is. Oh, I, yeah. Does that exist? Is that a thing? <clears throat> um, Let me know, Jonas. Is a... You know, that's a good question. Do you think it's true love or is it just fondness of a person? 
Wow, here we go. Now we're getting into it, man. We talk about hate from beyond the grave, and now we're going to talk about love before it. Yeah, dude. Um, I am probably the wrong person to but ask But I want your about- opinion. This is why I want to talk to you about this. But, you know, like, okay, so me, me, see, me, 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 myself, Jonas, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. So I usually do not, I refrain from talking in a professional way about shit that I don't know anything about. I've never, I feel like I've been in love on one occasion where it was to the point I actually wanted to tell the person, like, I have to tell this individual I love them. I've only done that to one person okay. in my entire life besides my mama. Right. All right. Um, and then I look back on it and, you know, I have to say is that my my love was, was fickle and I feel like so was hers. <laughs> I don't want to get into my bag, but I don't. I don't buy it. I don't buy okay. it. Okay, like, I don't buy that, it. Let's not I say don't. even the love thing, because like some people do. Like some people don't say that very often. Like no. even like my grandparents. I think I've only heard them say that to me. I hand or my but anyone like oh, heard no. them say that to people in my family yeah. is enough times I can count on my hands and toes my whole life. It was very few and far between. And then my other grandma is like, I love you all the time. So. So let's just say about like a strong connection with a person. You've had you've had girls you've dated for a, a long period of time. <laughs> sure. So like, but do you think that it's like when people fall in love? Do you think it's like it's actually like a love thing, or is it like is it like a fondness of that person where you don't want? It's like you enjoy their company so much that the thought of them not being around is like painful. Absolutely. All right. So on looking from where I am to the fact I've only said it to one person, and it took me a year into the relationship to even get there. I'm going to say is that I feel like most motherfuckers, if you say I love you in, in the first six months, you fucking lying. Is this something you saying? You don't actually mean it. If that's what you call love, then what the fuck? How did it's so easily get? No, love is not easily gotten. It's not easily lost. You know, it's hard to get. And it's hard to get and even harder to maintain. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, th- I think the older I get, the less I'm able to make that happen. In my heart. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, man, it's fine. I, I, I just, agree. I think people are just you get more jaded and more dead inside. Hey, well, you, you get cynical, man. You do. You go through some. Sh- you go through some shit. Some people put you through some shit. And you're just like, eh, I don't know if I really want to go through that any- anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's it's like you know you know what doesn't hurt not having people fuck me over. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's not to take away from the fact that if you we were to have uh, found and maintained like good healthy relationships in our life, we may have a different outlook. And uh, jaded, I don't know if that's necessarily the word I would use for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, just I'm very cautious now. And I was already very cautious before, so yeah, now I'm even sense. more yeah, cautious. Yeah, I, I guess like yeah, ca- well, it's just like. It, um, <laughs> it part of me wants to just be like, well, it always ends up fucked up anyway. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> That's a little jaded. I know, right? <laughs> no, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I mean, I'm being a little. Uh, no, it, yeah, I, I get you. I got you. My, my whole idea is like, uh, I just, I want to reaffirm that I, I need to value myself. You know, I need to value myself. I, I enjoy my own company, and that's perfectly okay. Um, if I can find somebody who I can spend time with, um, that'd be fine, too. I mean, it's not like I haven't made some moves, you know. You got to make some moves, but now it's, like, really hard over, like, the last six months and into the unforeseeable future. But, you know, with the way that we've been operating, it's okay. Yeah, dude. It's okay. It's okay. It's so... Okay. Love from before the grave, Jonas. Love is a lie. Love after hate after grave. Hate is a lie. One hundred percent. Yeah. Do, you, do you, is there people in this world that you hate no. without without naming names? Mm, Hitler. <laughs> not He's a big not fan in this world anymore. Uh, David Duke. Not a big fan. Nope. 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 Not a fan at all. He's the. Uh, Leader of the KKK. Uh, yeah, just I would so, say that he's you know, a pretty, you know, pretty terrible person, yeah. You, did you know who David Duke was? Yeah, he's been around since we were in high oh, school. Cool. He was, like, trying to run for president and shit. Just making sure, because I found his card in your wallet. Yeah. Um, oh, I got the poster in the kitchen. The poster in the kitchen. 
When you, Yo. you open up the plate cupboard, it's on the inside. <laughs> Yo, that's a pretty good skit right there, Jonas. <laughs> like, like I, get a, I, get, I enter a Craigslist ad for a roommate or something. <laughs> and I walk in, you got a big frame just, picture you, of David Duke in the you living open room. Up the, all the, all, there's like, you open up the, the kitchen cupboard, there's like a big old picture of Duke. <laughs> With like a robe, you know, it's you're like, oh no, dude, I don't actually practice. I'm just I'm an enthusiast. Those are, they're very elegant robes, don't you yeah. think? Like, I mean I'm a I'm a seamstress. I just collect memorabilia. <laughs> <laughs> I strive to make that same sort of uh, quality <laughs> gear. This is actually one of the shell casings from the church shooting out. You know, like that wow. I'm just saying, Jonas, like that kind of stuff would be weird. What? Yeah, it would be weird. Absolutely. <laughs> These chains were taken off an actual. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Where's like a wrist bracelet? Like he has a bracelet. And I'll just come in like, yeah, dude, that's uh, that's cool. Um. <laughs> These chains. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I guess that'd be fucked up. <laughs> but you're just like, you're just like a real, you're a historian, a collector. Yeah, dude, it's these, right next to his fucking, these items. his Hitler hair shavings from the last time he got his head cut, his hair cut before he died. It's got like, freaking stock images from the boy in the striped pajamas and shit. Oh my just, God. I'm just, I'm sorry, this is a good skit. In my head, it worked perfectly, it's funny. We treat it with the reverence it deserves. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. <laughs> palette cleanser. <laughs> palette cleanser. <laughs> Do you like kittens or bunnies? Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, they uh, researchers in Cambridge. I I didn't say it was Cambridge University. I may imagine maybe it's Cambridge University. Uh -huh. Cambridge. They have created a device. Hell yeah. That can perform artificial photosynthesis. <gasps> We're making our own plants. It's uh, it's it's like the first of its kind. It can turn sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into clean energy. The byproduct of it is oxygen and formic acid. Yeah. And then you can either store it as fuel or convert it into hydrogen. What is formic acid? I don't know. I didn't look it up. But they said you could transfer that form. into hydrogen, which is a clean fuel too. So th this is a this is another like case in point of like limitless energy, like or like the ideal of like uh, perpetual energy. Yeah, yeah. And there was another story that it was something about like they har like it was like. I think Bill Gates was part of it, maybe, or somebody. They were like trying to harness sunlight in like like a dome, uh, like a like upside down umbrella structure to create like a ultimate like I don't know. I, mm. I read an article about it a long time ago and I forgot, but it was like they finally had like succeeded in harnessing sunlight to create energy. Yeah, it's like that Fermi paradox shit where we're like we're harnessing like the universe's like energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Because electricity is it's fucking old hat, man. Like we need there's there's something better. There's something better. There's something cleaner than oil, than coal, <laughs> than electricity. Electricity's pretty clean though, I guess. But yeah, yeah, for the most part, isn't it crazy that electricity was created that long ago and it still is like the most viable way to like power like homes and like shit like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mean, even know. It was me. It was like colonial times you know what i mean like it's a long it's old as fuck yeah it's well it's a long way from a key on a kite which i hear is actually not how it happened yeah probably but not. it's a long way from tesla <laughs> tesla making his coil to what we have today but yeah man we gotta harness harnessing what we have here and what we have access to yeah dude that the makes next... a level two or level three society dude, so we can like harness the power of the sun to like then propel us to mars faster so we can get elon's colony up and running <laughs> there's an idea i don't know man i like the idea of there being a, a way to have perpetual energy but like that's gonna that's a game changer right there that's yeah what they said they changer. did is uh the the thing they made is only 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters oh, so, so it's only what like 10 inches yeah, a little about, bit less seven inches maybe yeah, about the but they said that they can probably scale it up as big as they want so if they could like put like a big like 30 foot by 30 foot one of them motherfuckers out in like a big old field and just like put water in it with sunlight and, and like produce oxygen and you know how do you monetize it <clears throat> how they sell the hydrogen they make what hydrogen the no. byproducts they can make hydrogen with the oxygen they create 
How do you monetize it for people? Like you put this, say you put this device on a vehicle. Where's where do you what do you do? Well, you could actually like because uh, the uh, Nikola trucks run on hydrogen fuel. Yeah. So essentially, like that, if you if you create cars that run on hydrogen fuel, you you could do put have these on like the roof or something to then the oxygen that's created then have like a hydrogen converter built in or and it would just have like a lim limitless fuel for your vehicle Ooh, because it would just but you need to put water in it it we, needs water too we can't put the gas stations out of business yeah well i mean they, they, they <laughs> you know they're, they're heading Jonas, those are american jobs they took our jobs yeah dude <sighs> Yeah. I don't know, man. When I think about like what actually, what politicians actually have to think about and go through, and like the regulations and the results of something like on on this level of technology and the potential impact it could have for us as a country, right? It's it's too much for me. I'm good. Oh, you don't want to have that. You don't want to have that power. I don't want to be president. No, I'm good. Fuck that. It's just a lot of work, man. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. You make a lot of friends that way, though. Uh, you make a lot of money. You no, know, you don't make you, a lot of money. Yeah, you make a lot. The president of money. only makes like two hundred fifty k a year. He, but he write a book, boom. Yeah, but you make a lot of friends. Like you know, you and Putin can go hang out, dude. You guys can like go to country clubs together. How long has Barack Obama been out of office? Four years almost. Yeah, he's a billionaire. Barack Obama's a billionaire now. Did it finally? Truth not facts. I was gonna say I don't think he's a billionaire. <laughs> Truth not facts. I don't think he's a billionaire. Well, it sounded good oh, when I said it. That for, dramatic. He's a billionaire for sure. Oh yeah, because he makes you make like seven fifty k after you leave, right? I don't know what I don't know the I don't, I don't know. know the rates, but I thought he was a uh, I thought he was a billionaire. I mean, he's a smart dude. He probably has has some businesses. If any, I mean, and he wrote a book, and his wife is. Uh, what do you call she that? Got a podcast. Yeah, she's got a podcast and she's doing stuff. How would you have felt if she was the vice president? I thought that that might be what they were gonna do. Because because they said he was gonna pick a woman, I was like, watch it be Michelle Obama. Ooh, it was not. Nope. <laughs> then it'd be like Brock would be like the the, the vice president husband or whatever the, the second lady or the second man or what i don't know what they would call second what do they man. call the vice president's wife because the first lady first lady second lady is it is, it, is she the second lady is that what they call her <laughs> the second lady I, I think i don't know uh but, i don't know the second sounds like it would be right but it also sounds derogatory who does like it? oh here comes the second lady here comes the lady of honor <laughs> the lady of the night whoa i like that <laughs> So, but yeah, dude, that's a, uh, I, I thought that was cool. The shit that technology is creating in these days, dude, is nuts. Yeah, but then like, okay, here's, here's the other thing, Jones. The shit never comes out. All right. Shit never comes out. Well, yeah, well I mean, it takes what about your goddamn phones that you were telling me about with the fucking charge up fast? Charge fast? Oh, that dude, never probably happened. Be in, the, in the Google phone in like two years. No, not <laughs> buying it. That was the most boomer statement you've ever said. What? No, I'm not buying it. We're no. The... So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you uh, have already done that, you should go follow him on Twitch because he's famous. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-D-H-C underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Hell yes. So, for Jonas, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out.